As Ukraine fights to regain lost territory, it is engaged on another front. This one is with its allies. It's the fighter jet front. Ukraine wants them. The West isn't giving them. Why are fighter jets such a big deal? Can they really change the course of this war? Why is the West reluctant? And why hasn't Russia used its jets yet? Tonight, we'll try to answer all these questions, starting with Ukraine's Spain. It faces regular missile attacks from Russia. Its air defense system is holding up so far, but it cannot take down all Russian missiles. Western fighter jets can change that. They can improve Ukraine's ability to defend itself. Part two of the story. Russia isn't using its fighter jets yet. Well, they did in the initial days of the war and suffered significant setbacks. But that could change now. Russia is readying its jets. What happens if they enter Ukraine in airspace? So Ukraine is worried. It wants to be able to defend itself. Plus, the Russian Air Force is a formidable adversary. Western intelligence says the same. It says Russia still has, and I'm quoting, Russia still has a pretty significant air force. And it's amassing aircraft close to Ukraine. And that's not all. Russia has also mobilized 300,000 troops. It is set to be launching a fresh offensive, which is why Ukraine wants fighter jets to launch offensive operations. To take on Russia's air force, to target Russian troop concentrations, this could change the course of the war, but Ukraine's allies are not playing ball. You may ask why, and we'll tell you it's complicated. Sending fighter jets is not as easy as it sounds. They're not like German helmets or electric batteries. They're fighter jets. Sending them would be crossing a stern Russian red line. It would be an escalation by the West. A lot of politics and a lot of countries are involved. But Zelensky is not giving up. Last week, in the middle of the war, he toured Europe. He gave speeches and lobbied for jets, yet returned empty-handed. Some leaders, like Rishi Sunak, made feeble commitments. Others just said no. Ukraine is desperate. It is calling the jets wings of freedom. It wants the F-16 fighter jets from the U.S. Now, the U.S. is Ukraine's biggest ally at the moment. Biden has put his money where his mouth is, $50 billion in counting, battle tanks, aid, military and political support. He's given all of it, but no fighter jets. Biden has refused the request. The U.S. says Ukraine is not ready to operate such, such fighter jets. And that is true. Ukrainian pilots would require at least six months of training before they can fly the F-16s. And the training, in fact, could st stretch for years. This is a problem, not just with the F-16s, but almost every Western fighter jet. Also, sending F-16s would be unprecedented. Washington will be risking direct conflict with Moscow. It could land NATO in a direct fight with Russia. And this is a red line that Joe Biden does not want to cross. What about the UK? Well, they're exploring possibilities. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has reportedly instructed his defense secretary to see what can be done. Ukraine wants the Typhoon fighter jets. Again, easier said than done. The Typhoon jets are made by the four-country Eurofighter consortium. So the UK will first need an approval from the three other countries involved, Italy, Spain and Germany. And that will take a while if it happens at all. And then we have Germany, always skeptical about sending weapons to Ukraine. It relented on the issue of tanks, but jets... Maybe too much to ask for. Chancellor Olaf Scholz has said a firm no. In fact, he went further and complained about Western countries. Then there's France. President Emmanuel Macron gave Ukraine a reality check. He said that even if Europe agrees to give jets, they won't be available anytime soon. And by the time they are, it could be too late. Again, Ukraine's closest ally, Poland, is also unsure. Yeah. President Duda has said that sending F-16s would be, quote-unquote, a very serious decision, one that was not easy to take, his words. Which brings us to Russia. Russia has a big air force, the third largest in the world, with more than 3,800 military aircraft. If fighter jets can be game-changers, and Russia has so many of them, why isn't it using the jets? The fact is, Russia did use jets and lost them. At least 67 aircraft so far. Russia's air force is not delivered yet. It couldn't destroy Ukraine's air defense systems. Then the West sent support. It gave Ukraine air defense systems. The US, the UK, the, Germ the Germans, all of them, they chipped in. America's Stinger missiles helped. Coupled with Ukraine's S-300 batteries, they made an effective air defense system. So Russia did not go full throttle 
with its air force, and Ukraine doesn't have the jets to mount a meaningful offensive. This is where the story stands. The West is being wise for a change by not adding fighter jets to the mix.